We know how to perform the conversion of H parameters to Z parameters and the conversion of Z parameters to H parameters. And now we are going to perform the conversion of H parameters to Y parameters and the conversion of Y parameters to H parameters. And I have taken the set of equations we have in case of H parameters. And uh, let's say this equation here is our equation number one and this equation here is our equation number two and i have also taken the set of equations we have in case of y parameters and uh, let's say this equation is our third equation and this equation is our fourth equation and we will first perform the conversion of h parameters to y parameters that is we want to have parameters y11 y12, y21, y22 in terms of h11, h12, h21 and h22 and for this purpose we will try to have the forms in equation number 3 and in equation number 4 using the equation number 1 and equation number 2 and when you focus on equation number 1 and equation number 3 you will find we have the same variables here we have i1, v1 and v2 as the three variables and here we have i1, v1 and v2 as the three variables. So it will be very easy for us to convert equation number one to the form we are having in equation number three. And for this I will subtract h12, v2 on both the sides and therefore we will have voltage v1 minus h12 voltage v2 on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have h11 current i1 and from here we will have current i1 equal to 1 over h11 voltage v1 minus h12 over h11 voltage v2 and let's say this is our equation number 5 and when you compare the equation number 5 with equation number 3 you will find we have the same form and now we will compare the second equation with the fourth equation and you will find in the fourth equation we have the variables i2 v1 and v2 and in the second equation we have the variables i2 i1 and v2 this means we want to get rid of i1 and we want v2 in place of i1 and we can eliminate i1 if we put i1 from equation number 5 here in equation number 2 so we will put i1 from equation number 5 to equation number 2 and this will give us current i2 equal to h21 in place of i1 we will write this 1 over h11 voltage v1 minus h12 over h11 voltage v2 then we have plus h22 v2 plus h22 v2 and now we will open this bracket and we will have current i2 equal to h21 divided by h11 voltage v1 minus h21 multiplied to h12 divided by h11 voltage v2 plus h22 multiplied to voltage v2 this is what we have and we can see that in the last two terms we have v2 as common so let us take v2 common we will have current i2 equal to h21 divided by h11 v1 then we have plus inside the bracket h22 minus h21 multiplied to h12 divided by h11 and voltage v2 is common now focus on the content we are having inside the bracket we can write this as h11 multiplied to h22 minus h21 multiplied to h12 
divided by h11 and we can write h11 multiplied to h22 minus h21 multiplied to h12 as the determinant of h parameters matrix so we finally have the determinant of matrix h divided by h11 so we have simplified the content inside the bracket to this result so we finally have current i2 equal to h21 divided by h11 voltage v1 minus determinant of h parameters matrix divided by h11 multiplied to v2 and this is our equation number 6 and here we should have plus now we will compare equation number 5 with equation number 3 and we can see that y11 is equal to 1 over h11 so the parameter y11 is equal to 1 over h11 and y12 is equal to minus h12 over h11 parameter y12 is equal to minus h12 divided by h11 and now let us compare equation number 4 with equation number 6 we will have y21 equal to h21 over h11 parameter y21 is equal to h21 over h11 and parameter y22 is equal to determinant of h matrix over h11 the last parameter y22 is equal to the determinant of matrix h divided by parameter h11 so in this way we have performed the conversion of h parameters to y parameters now if you want to perform the conversion of y parameters to h parameters then try to have these two forms of equations from equation number 3 and equation number 4 and once you perform the conversion following the same idea you will have parameter h11 equal to 1 over parameter y11 and you will have parameter h12 equal to minus replace h12 by y12 and replace h11 by y11 and parameter h21 will be equal to replace h21 by y21 and h11 by y11 and the last parameter h22 will be equal to the determinant of admittance matrix divided by y11 so this is all for this lecture i will end it here see you in the next one